Welcome to our lecture online. So now here's part four of problem number 18, the fourth double lens combination. And again, we're trying to find the position of the final image. So starting out with finding the first image, we write S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. And of course, we're working on the first image and therefore we put subscript one for everything. The image distance for one or image one distance is equal to the object distance times the focal length of the first lens divided by the object distance minus the focal length of the first lens. And so since the object is to the left of the first lens by 20 centimeters, that becomes the object distance. The focal length of the first lens is minus 20. It's a diverging lens. S1 would be 20 minus a minus 20. So this becomes a minus 400 divided by a positive 40, which is a minus 10, which means minus 10 centimeters. Minus means it's front of the lens, uh, lens one by distance of 10 centimeters. So the image one will be here at a distance of 10 centimeters in front of lens one, which means it's 15 centimeters away from lens two. And in image one becomes object two. So the image of the first lens now becomes the object of the second lens. And now we can do the whole problem over again for the second lens. So S2 prime equals S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. S2 is the object distance of the second object to the second lens, which is now 15 centimeters. The focal length of the second lens is positive 10, 15 minus a positive 10. So this becomes 150 divided by five, which is 30 centimeters. And notice it's a positive 30 centimeters, which means it's to the right of the second lens. Do we have an, do we have an, an answer like that? Sure do, right here, 30 centimeters to the right of lens two. And so that means that the Correct answer for that one is T, and over here we have only one place where T can be used. And so notice that we found the correct answer for all four parts of the problem. But again, we didn't need to do all four. We could have done part four, this one right here. Correct answer means answer A. We could have done part two. Correct answer means answer A. And that way you didn't have to do the other three parts. So sometimes you need to look through the problem and realize, ah, I can do this quickly with just one of the four, four combinations to get the right answer to this problem. And that is how it's done.